Yo, hello. It is uh, it is me. Uh, I'm here. It's been a while. I cut myself on the way here because I was flipping Spiral Kraken, which by the way, uh, I got a Spiral Kraken, so yeah. Uh, it's also a beater, um, but today I took the whole foam out of my fucking Nibali's case because I'm brain dead. Uh, when in reality I was trying to... Yeah, in reality I was trying to pull out the, the guy. This is what the video is about. We're doing a video on the Hydra. Right? Like, what do I think of it? How is it? Do I recommend it? Uh, wow, this video is really fucking late. Like, what took you so long to do it? You know, there's a lot of questions that need to be answered in this video. So, yeah. Uh, let's start with me dropping it. Uh, and then picking it up and, you know, just trying to do my best. This video is not going to be edited, uh, so I'm not even fucking touching it. Uh, so I'm sorry if you can hear my hyper pop that I'm fucking blaring out of my headphones here. Uh, I don't think you can, but if you can, I'm sorry. Um, you're just gonna kind of have to deal with it. Um, but yeah, Nabali sent me this, like, forever ago, and then I, like, never did the video about it. I talked about it, like, in my Ramble videos, but I never actually did the review, so... Yeah. Uh, how is it? Uh, right, let's just, you know, dive into it. Fuck it, right? I haven't done content in a while. This is weird for me. So, um... This isn't what I wanted. No, this is what I wanted. Um, so, fuck. So, Kraken is, the, the, fuck, the Hydra is, like, a cheap Kraken. Um, that's kind of, like, the idea of it, I think. It's just, like, hey, Kraken, but cheaper. Um, so, they're pretty similar in, like, overall length. I can't exactly get them side by side, because the tang of the fucking Kraken is so annoying here. But they're, they're pretty fucking close to the same length, okay? They're, like, uh, like that. That's, like length comparison. Look at that. See? Bam. Wow. Look at that. Um, yeah, they're pretty close in size. Um, in weight, the Kraken is a little bit heftier, I'm pretty sure. Or maybe it just feels like it, but I'm pretty sure that the Kraken's heftier. I don't think my feel for balance, or for fucking, just knives in general, I don't think is that bad. I'm pretty sure this is lighter, but, you know, could be wrong. Uh, but I'll never know, because I'm not fucking fact-checking, so... I don't care. Uh, how does this flip, right? Because weight's only one thing. Um, Krakens are 4.2, so I would probably say that this hovers like the 4 ounce range. Maybe like 3.9 at lightest. 4.1. Um, but yeah, how does this flip? Uh, well, it flips like a Bowie Kraken. Like a V2, specifically. It flips like a V2 Bowie Kraken. Um, not a bad thing at all, because the Bowie Kraken in general is not bad. Uh, I prefer the Tanto, but that doesn't mean I dislike the Bowie. I just think that the Bowie's worse than the Tanto, and why would I have the inferior version? Um, so, that's why you always hear me talk shit about Bowie's, it's just, you know, yeah. But, yeah. It doesn't have a lot of tip weight, so fanning is a little bit weird, but once you get used to it, it's really not that bad. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't fight you that hard to do fanning. Um, it just takes a minute to get used to, but then once you do, it's fine. Really where this thing shines is its rollover capabilities. Um, because it doesn't have all of that tip weight, you know, even if it only had a little bit of handle weight, rollovers would still feel so much better. So, just because of that, like, in comparison kind of thing. So, but, uh, yeah, I really like the Navalis Hydra. Good beater, obviously good for the price, you know, a hundred bucks. Um, not really a whole lot you can go wrong with it, really. Um, there's a couple of, like, little things that, like, bother me about it, but nothing that crazy. Um, one thing that does bother me is this area right here for the Zen pin isn't chamfered. It's actually a little bit sharp. So when you do, like, open chaplains, right, you can kind of feel it. Or, like, if you're doing, like, close to the pivot fanning, you can feel it. Um, or just, like, I don't know, sometimes in some random tricks you'll just kind of feel it. Like, when you're doing, like close to the pivot like rollover tricks like not ladders like that but you know things like I already said open chaps but you know just any like heavy rollover stuff you'll usually feel it um it's not super bad it's just a little bit uncomfortable like it's not gonna be like a v1 uh bare bones zen nipple where it literally cuts you um it's just a little uncomfortable um now speaking of sharp um that's the one cool thing about the Hydra, that uh, you either love or you hate. Now, where do I stand on this? Uh, I'm pretty sure I've said it before, but 
Uh, I think it's great. I actually love dull live blades. Um, because you get all of, like, the, the benefits of, like, a live blade and, you know, having the ease of just designing a live blade instead of, uh, that was really fucking cool, that little tech thing right there. I never pull that off. That was cool. Um, sorry. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know. Most of the time it's, like, a lot of, uh, makers don't know how to design trainer blades super well for flipping. So doing a dull live blade makes things a lot easier because then they just have to design a live blade and not sharpen it, you know? So a lot of the times it's a lot less risky to just, you know, jump in there and buy a trainer and just hope that it flips good because I cannot tell you how many times I've done that and fucking hated it. So, yeah. Uh, the live blade on this is a weird, like, harpoon bowie type because it has, like, that harpoon swedge right here, but the overall shape is like a bowie. Um, but I like it. It's unique. Um, I want to try that new Japanese Tonto blade that they came out with. Uh, specifically with the speed channels if they do it. That would be so sick. I want to try it. Um, but yeah, that's enough about the blade. Let's talk about the handles a little bit. 7075 aluminum, cracking handles, same fucking thing, right? Uh, jimping is good. Uh, has similar to Volp, but not as aggressive, and I actually prefer it. Um, I like how it's not as, like, aggressive and... Physically jarring, I guess, is a good way of putting it, because the jimping on the Vulp is just strange. J like, doing ladders on the Vulp isn't bad. Don't get me wrong. It's great jimping. By design, it's fantastic. Um, but in practice, it's just a little bit weird. It feels weird. You know, and maybe that's just my autism brain talking, which it very well could be, because, you know, like, sensory and shit, but, like, it doesn't fuck. You know, it doesn't matter like that, right? Like... I like jimping that just kind of works and doesn't really fuck with anything else. Like, Kraken jimping isn't exactly the best out there. Well, the V3 is, actually. V3 jimping is really good. Like, it just, it's recessed into the handles. It gives you, like, enough width that your finger can sit into it and actually grip onto the sides of the jimping, right? It's nothing wonky. But the Volk jimping does this weird, like, V thing where, like, they'll kind of swoop into each other and then have a flat spot. So, like, there's almost like a hook strangely enough if you look at it the geometry of it's strange so to me that's just always felt weird with uh ladders but that's besides the point the jimping on this is a lot less aggressive but that doesn't mean it's bad it's a little more shallow but it still does all the grip that you need it to um which is cool Now, one thing I will say I was kind of worried about when I first got it was these weird, like, half-circle cutouts in the bottom of the handles. Um, but they actually don't impact flipping at all. Like, it doesn't fucking matter. I totally forget that they're there sometimes. Um, so, you're you're gonna be fine. It's not noticeable. It doesn't... You don't feel it during flipping or anything. I mean, if you do, like, palm fans, or what... The, the ones that are, like, uh, like that... I don't... They're not palm fans, because palm fans are the ones where you go like that that I can't do because I'm fucking gay. Yeah, like that. See, that was pretty good. Um, but even then, like, I barely noticed it. I felt it on the corners a little bit, but when it was, like, directly teed on my hand, like, I didn't feel the bottoms. You know what I mean? Because I'm only feeling the outer sides, and that's really all that matters. Um, but when it started to tip, I felt the edge. But it wasn't sharp, it wasn't uncomfortable. And I've never done that, like, with this knife, so... That was actually literally just a first impression. It's fine. I didn't notice it. It's whatever. Um, texture. Also not noticeable at all, but looks so fucking cool. Um, I don't have any grip issues with this knife. It actually, like, very rarely will fly out of my hands. Boom. Ah, oh, fuck. Uh, rarely will it actually fly out of my hands. I have, like, more than enough grip on this thing. Um, but to be fair, people also say that they have grip issues with the Kraken, and I don't really have grip issues with that either. So, I just like, you know, this raw anodized 7075 aluminum feel. That's what I like. It's good for me, maybe not good for you, so take that into account if you're interested in one of these. Um, what else am I forgetting? Oh yeah, Nibali's likes to do loose tunes, kind of similar to um, Garrett from NRB, where they'll just tune it like, where it doesn't tap, but you'll still feel wiggle. Um, personally, that's like my peak for tunes. I think that's like the best. Uh, but I know that's not everyone's thing, and, you know, some people really like having tight tunes. 
Well, thankfully, I'm fucking retarded and can't flip. But uh, thankfully, Nivali's released a new product that hopefully should fix that if you like tighter tolerances with their bushing buddy. Um, but I can't speak on experience because they, I don't even think they're officially like out yet, but I think they're about to be out. Um, that's besides the point. Um, I give the Navalis Hydra that's on the ground over there a solid, um, like a, like a, like a seven, 7.5 out of 10. Very solid, very good knife, reliable, you know, tanky, similar to a Kraken, but not infallible. It does have a couple of issues here and there, like tunes just being a little bit too much handle play for some people, and that's just a personal thing, or just the fact that it doesn't feel exactly fully finished with some chamfering issues and rounding problems and... You know, the texture isn't for everyone, it could be a little smooth, and, you know, there goes the Spiral Kraken, and, like, it's good, but it's not perfect, it's good for the money, it's original, you don't have to worry about clone problems, blah 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 blah, it's good, I recommend it, uh, if you want a Kraken but can't afford one, buy a Hydra, there's, like, nothing better. Um, in terms of, like, original market, uh, and clone, uh, fuck, in terms of original market and Kraken experience for that price doesn't exist, that's the only one, so that's about it, uh, except for this guy, but, uh, we won't talk about him, because this video is going to be coming up soon, stay tuned for that, I got a lot of things to say about the Orion, um, so that's about it for me, boys, I'll see you around, uh, in regards to where I've been, I don't know. Thank you. Funny case. Is that rust? That's a lot of rust. What the fuck? When did this start rusting? Ew, no. That's so tragic. What the fuck? Why is there so much rust on it? Damn, well, that's fucking tragic. Alright. Whatever.